According to a recent study, just 14% of South Koreans paid for internet news material in 2017. However, the survey stated, the percentage of respondents who claimed they paid for news items has been steadily rising over the previous several years. The number of poll participants who reported paying for online news items in South Korea last year climbed by one percentage point from the year before, according to the Reuters Institute's 2022 Digital News Report. The information, which is based on a YouGov poll of over 93,000 users of online news in 46 countries across the globe, also revealed that South Korea ranked 24th out of the examined markets in terms of the percentage of respondents who had used paid online news services. Norway topped the same list of markets with 41% of the total, followed by Sweden with 33%, and Hong Kong with 22%. High-ranking positions were also held by the US, Finland, Philippines, and Belgium. Many South Koreans still have a tendency to take for granted the availability of free internet news sources, according to Choi Jinho, a senior researcher at the Korea Press Foundation who contributed to the survey. According to Choi, a portion of the low rate might be attributed to the many venues that provide online news material. According to the survey, several news organizations have begun to provide digital subscriptions in the recent year, but are concerned about the dominating position of platforms. The majority of people in South Korea access online news information via the big internet portals Naver and Dao, which combine many news sources through their websites and applications. Only 5% of respondents indicated they prefer to receive online news material via websites or apps run directly by media outlets, the lowest percentage among the 46 markets questioned. Respondents who said they prefer to access news content on platforms made up 69% of the sample. According to the research, several large news organizations are experimenting with alternative financial models, such as subscriptions, but are yet to yield real returns. The survey notes that one hopeful development is that the percentage of South Koreans who pay for online news material is progressively rising, closing the gap with the US, which is generally seen as having well-established pay mechanisms for online news content. The statistics in the survey revealed that whereas 19% of Americans paid for internet news items, just 14% of South Koreans did, narrowing the difference by five percentage points. Only 30% of South Koreans, down two percentage points from a year earlier, are said to believe the news generally, according to the research. YTN was rated as the most reliable media outlet, and consumers trusted broadcasters more than they did print media. According to the research, social media consumption of news increased by 4 percentage points year over year while declining by 2 percentage points for TV and print media.